everyone has had a marvelous holiday a vacation, a great Christmas, and a happy new year. And so I just wanted to share, you know, some information that might help you as you're growing your business in 2023. I know a lot of people are wanting to start businesses in 2023. So I've done accounting for the last 25 years and business consulting. So I will be putting out a video um, each Wednesday um, and just trying to help you get set up and answer any questions that you might have just to make your journey much, much easier. So today I just wanted to share with you three things that you can possibly start today. And it's great if you can journal every day and kind of see where you're going and what you did the day before as to know what you want to do next. And the first thing I think is to have a fresh vision for your business, no matter if like last year, 2022, didn't turn out the way that you wanted or you were in preparation or you had an amazing um, year in your business. And just looking back on those things, it will really tell a story for you of what you need to do going forward. The next thing that's really important is for you to have a bank account that is designated just for your business. It can be a business bank account. If you don't have that, just use a personal account you have, but use it only for your business. Don't put any personal items in there. And then you could also have a business credit card. And so that would be great for your business to help you tracking everything. And then that actually leads into the third thing that we really have to do, and that is tracking all of our income, all of our expenses. And the reason why we want to do this is because this is going to help us grow our business, know where our income is coming from, even if we're just doing a part-time business. It's even more important if you're doing a part-time business. And then it will also help you see the expenses and producing a product or, you know, your time in producing a service that you need to charge in order for it to pay for itself. And as we are in business, it's not like a nine to five job where we get paid for every hour of work we do. Um, like, for instance, for me, I may do four to six hours a day of actually working on client accounting, but the other hours, three or four hours, then I'm having to, you know, like look at my numbers, look at my business, answer emails, um, you know, doing marketing. And so kind of like for me, marketing is like that foreign thing. I'm not that familiar with the numbers I'm totally familiar with. So um, anyway, those are some things that you can actually start doing. And if you would like to learn more about me and what I do, you can um, go to my website at starnomadbookkeeping.com as well. But I'm just here to give you some free information um, just to help you in your journey, because I know everybody isn't ready, you know, just when you start, you know, of having the extra funds like paying for bookkeeping and accounting, but you still need to know that stuff and you want your business to be successful. But anyway, I put out videos um, every Wednesday. And so I look forward to seeing you next Wednesday and we'll dive just a little bit deeper. And I'm just going to show you a step-by-step -step approach that's very easy for you to keep track of your numbers and of your bookkeeping. And I hope you have a fabulous day.